I, I just put it once like that when I just made a proposal for a band to use soundscape. And what we're doing is we focus back onto the musicians. It's not about loudspeakers anymore, which are rather disconnected from what's happening. So what we're doing is we're using loudspeakers to really reinforce the appearance of the musician. And what we're doing is we're just leaving the audience with the musician and the music. Soundscape is the idea, it's a new method of reproducing sound. So the historic methods like mono stereo, channel based mixing um, are kind of not really uh, working for, you know, bigger rooms, live sound reinforcement concert sound. So we thought we have to make a different approach in order to give the people, the audience, the complete sensation of, you know, the event that they are just um, that they are just visiting. And one of the things, you know, I'm doing that is I was once invited to a show of Miss Laurie Anderson and they said, hey, we have perfect seats for you and I was seated in the fifth row right in front of the left PA stack and sorry, this was you now understandable. So I thought, you know, we have to change something here. And this is the reason why we have Soundscape. Soundscape is, you know, the overlining topic of you know, creating real you know, sound scapes, sound landscapes. And we have two modules under Soundscape, one of which is Ensene, which is the reproduction, the reproduction or a software module, which allows us to reproduce the scenery. So what you see in the scenery is what you put into an acoustic environment as well. And the other one is Enspace. And you know, um, if you think about the name and space, it's about the surrounding, it's about the space, the room around the um, acoustic event. So we have um, 3D simulation of real rooms, concert halls. Soundscape consists of you know, a hardware piece, which is a D300 signal engine. And this comes um, basically with a 64 by 64 matrix, uh, Dante in and out, input, output, EQ is the required processing to make it a really versatile you know, piece of technology on its own. And then you can plug in the Ensene and its base software. Uh, we can use OCA A70 to control, you know, positioning and all the functionality within Ensene and Enspace. But we can also, you know, talk OSC. So we can connect to all major sound control uh, um, or mixing desks or tracking systems. We use here the, the TTA Stage Tracker, Stage Tracker 2 to control dynamically, real time control the positioning of the sound source according to the real position of, you know, in that case, the actors which were, you know, Marcus and Ralph at that, at that uh, time. We can use also um, OSC control from, you know, generic mixing desk. We use Digico here. You can use it, do it with um, um, Solid State Logic as well. Everything that speaks OSC, QLab, uh, can control the enhanced functionality of Ensene or Enspace. <laughs> The thing is, you know, you, you don't have the disconnected audio experience, you know, from you know, whatever PA system left, right. The, the sound reinforcement is focusing back onto the musician. And the experience when you listen to it is you forget about the sound system. It's just the musicians, the music and the audience. And, you know, the reason why I'm doing the job, to be very honest, is, you know, this very rare moment where you can't hold back your tears because it's sounding so fantastic. And this happened, you know, often with Soundscape. I personally don't see any limitation. Um, if you think about, you know, like, like um, conference markets, for instance, if you think about conferences, if it's just about speeches, um, to have the voice located, um, the audio located where the real speaker is, makes it much, much easier to follow to follow the speech because you don't have to calculate the different positions of the audio source and the speaker itself. So putting that together makes it much easier to follow that. So I'm seeing it everywhere. For me, there's no limitation. It can be rock and roll. We did John Bon Jovi on a system like that. We did real rock and roll bands. We did electronic music. We did uh, classical shows. We did jazz shows. We did everything. So for me, this is just a standard. It's a complete new standard. and. I hope and I believe in five years time we don't talk about channel based systems anymore. <laughs>